So, as I was saying, there's going to be an error later on, um, and I'll go ahead and I'll show you what that error is. It has to do with uh, when you've got the fluid, you've already selected uh, water here, but down here within the porous zone, if you click that, even though we don't have a porous zone for this problem, you'll see down here you've got aluminum, although we need copper. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and change that right now. But if you don't change this, you're going to get an error when it is time to um, when it is time to delete these materials. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our boundary conditions. We've got for the bottom surface, we know we've got a wall with convection and our H our heat transfer coefficient H is 15 and the free stream we said was 293 Kelvin let's make sure we remember to change this to copper everything else is fine the inlet we're going to select it as a velocity inlet going to edit that and the um, velocity we said we wanted 0.1 and it's normal to the boundary and the inlet temperature um, we're going to make it also 293 um, degrees Celsius. Okay, so we've got a velocity coming in, and we've got a temperature coming in, and we hope to see that temp temperature change uh, or be heated. Okay, so the next one is the interface. Now, the interface is what we created uh, between the, remember the wall, the inner wall of the pipe and the fluid. This is critical. If you don't have the interface and the interface shadow, then you did something wrong and you're not going to have uh, heat transfer between your solid and your fluid. Okay, so you have to make sure you have this shadow. And when you click on interface, make sure it's a wall. And inside of the wall, I'm going to leave all this standard, but it's important that it's coupled here and make sure that this is the right material that you want okay so that's right this is what I'm gonna do I'm, I don't have I'm not gonna use any wall thickness or anything like that just leave it as coupled okay now um, this should be the same if you went in and you looked at it it's a shadow it's gonna be the same coupled copper whatever you do the first is gonna happen in the second these two are interiors that's good leave it as an interior an outlet um, I'm going to choose it to be a pressure outlet leave that all uh, standard now the top surface is where we have the heat flux so I'm going to do a uh, heat flux make sure this is copper and we said that this is going to be 800 watts per meter squared heat flux watt 800 watts per meter squared and uh, that's it for that and then the walls remember the edges we're gonna go ahead and also say that that's gonna have convection chose H to be 15 and the free stream error to be 293 and copper okay Alright, so our boundary conditions are done, cell zone conditions are done, we should be able to go back to the air and delete the air, okay, that was deleted, and the aluminum, perfect. So the materials we don't want were deleted without any errors. If you have an error, like I had before, I had the error where when I deleted, um, when I tried to delete aluminum, believe it or not inside of the fluid edit inside of porous zone which you can't see anything unless it's checked inside of the porous zone scroll down to the bottom and I had this had aluminum here we don't have a porous zone so I'm going to uncheck that okay so moving on I'm not going to change anything here or here everything I'm going to leave here standard under relaxation factors, I'm going to leave as standard. Okay, 
the solution in initialization I'm going to go from the top surface but from experience with this particular problem for some reason um, because these are initial guesses for solving the equations when I had zeros here the solution wasn't converging and uh, so go ahead and put some value in there and that's going to help it converge go ahead and in initialize okay I'm going to set my iteration counter to 300 and let's go ahead and calculate Okay, so after 39 iterations, the solution converged. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the um, contours set up, and uh, I'm going to we're going to look at the temperature. Static temperature is fine. Want it filled, um, and I'm going to create a new cross section surface here. I like to do pointed and normal. That is the most simplest, the most simple for me to make. And that's normal x one x. Okay, wait a second. Um, let's try this again. Let me see the scale. Okay, so the Y and the X they never intersect at zero. So I'm going to have to make some changes here. Let me see if I can just see the um, Well, this is pretty reasonable. Right here we've got the uh, top surface. So if we were looking at the outer shell, I guess, of the plate absorber, we've got heat coming in and then it's being transferred to the water here at a higher rate than over here. So let me see if I can see really quickly. Um, yeah, okay. So. If you look at this, this is the interface of the pipe. You've got heating. We've got heating going on, which is perfect. That's what we want. Um, really, what I'd like to do, and I'll, what I'll do right now, is I'm going to make a cross section through the pipe, through the center of the pipe, and show that it's heating. But basically, um, this is already a good sign right here. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and make. Um, let me go to reports. I'm gonna just calculate the um, the temperature at the inlet versus the outlet, and that is going to uh, show. So the inlet temperature, as we know, we set it to be 293. Um, now let's go ahead and see what the outlet temperature is. 296. Okay, so it is heating up. It's heating up uh, a little slowly. Honestly, it barely heated up. And I think that has to do with the velocity. The velocity that I chose to be 0.1 was a little maybe too fast. So um, let me really quickly 